So it's the final day of the Oceanic Championships in Geelong. And I think uh, the wind's finally come in now we're off the water. It's been a pretty difficult day. And uh, I have somebody tell me all about it. First off, quick introduction. I'm Ian from Canada. Um, I'm trying to get home uh, soon, but um, you want to hear about the day? So we're we all trying to get home. Let's, let's hear about the day. And also, what uh, part of the fleet are you in? Uh, I'm in the Apprentice uh, Standard uh, fleet, so uh, only eight of us, but uh, it's quite competitive, lots of fun. And tell us a bit about your day. So uh, in the first race, uh, I a bunch of boats started at the barge. Uh, it was a little favoured, I think, but I started... Wait, for the for the, uh, for the British people amongst us, what, what's the barge? <laughs> uh, the committee end of the line, is that what you would say? Thank you. <laughs> um, and I started towards the pin uh, because I was pretty confident that a left shift was coming. Uh, and I was lucky enough that it did, and I was pretty happy about that. But my, my competition called the ley line a bit better. And so we managed to get to the windward mark uh, before me, even though I was second around. So that was a bit frustrating. Um, but it was really nice to be in the top three. And then this guy, uh, Brett Bayer came into the picture. Um, I have to say, Brett is our cameraman and he's a, he's a bit of a legend. Uh, I'm going to get it wrong now. I think 13 world titles or something like that. But uh, unfortunately, we've run out of days, so we'll have to chat to Brett another time. Um, anyway, so the story of the first race for me was left, but that wasn't. Uh, the second upwind showed that it was a bit more complicated. So then in the second, we had a big uh, break in between races while they tried to reset the course and the wind got sketchier and sketchier. Well, you had a, you had a quick half race, didn't you? <laughs> yes, and I had a miserable race there. I was very relieved when it was called off. Um, I tried to, uh, it was so port uh, pin favored that I thought someone's bound to tack and then I can just, I can just uh, go with them and no one tacked and I ended up fouling about and doing my circles. Anyway, so I was back, I was back in that one. So and was, you, were, you were happy that they uh, happy abandoned that it? they called it off, yes. Um, so then uh, after all that drama, um, there was, again, it was a little bit boat favored. Um, but this time, I think most people keyed in that it, uh, the left was supposed to be favoured. So that's committee boat, not pin boat, just to be, just to be clear. Yes, I, I yeah. Um, and so then we, I got a, a shift that took me out right. And so now I'm really committed. Uh, the whole fleet's <laughs> left and I'm really far right. And, and I'm lifted too. So I'm thinking, I don't know what to do here. Uh, <laughs> Um, but there's a small puff on the horizon and I'm thinking, well, at least I'll go to that puff. It has my name on it. Yeah, exactly. And sure enough, there was like a 20 plus degree shift with that puff. And it had me, you know, when you think you're in first, um, it had me going towards the mark and I was, uh, it was, I was like, okay, I just got to cash it in. Just got to cash it in. And so but I guess it was too short. Um, I ended up, I think, third around the windward mark. So it actually paid off, but it shouldn't have. So I was super lucky there. Um, and then uh, the, the wind just got weirder and weirder um, and on the second upwind um, it was uh, Matt Bleakey who's leading the apprentices uh, and Brett Bayer and they split um, and Matt went hard right and Brett went hard left. And who was right? Uh, Correct. <laughs> Brett was uh, definitely right. Uh, he saw a puff that must have just been fledgling on the horizon or something. We didn't see. We, we were, oh, why is he going over there? He's sailing into a lull. Um, and so we tacked on this nice lift and then we saw it coming and our world fell apart. Um, so there was a big lull in the middle of the, the course and then there were some weird dramatic shifts happening on the right. I managed to salvage enough to all the apprentices came into the windward mark at the same time. That's what we like, nice close <laughs> racing. <laughs> yeah, it was strange because we're, we're competing against all the other fleets. So I saw like five or six out of the eight apprentices all together. And I suddenly thought, oh my gosh, I might actually be able to win this. Because it's so random, I could space Matt by two boats if I was lucky enough. I ended up spacing him by one, um, but uh, it was, uh, yeah, it was a wild, uh, wild final day of racing anyway. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's been a fantastic championship. And it's not only you uh, who are part of uh, the laser sailing family, I believe your wife. 
Yeah, um, Maura Dewey uh, is on the Canadian National Sailing Team Development Squad. Um, and so she was out for Sail Melbourne and then Radial Worlds uh, just across the bay here. At Sandy. Uh, yeah, uh, Sa Sandringham, is it? Yeah, Sa Sandy. <laughs> and um, I'm, ne I'm nearly speaking Australian. Yeah, almost, I, I had to learn it was Geelong, not Geelong. I'm still struggling with that. <laughs> yeah. Um, Anyway, so we, uh, we've been sharing a boat through that, and now we're going to try to ship it home. <laughs> Perfect. Well, good luck with that. I know you're super keen to uh, pack up final day, prize giving in one hour. Thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Thanks.